This essay is an argumentation essay. An argumentation, of course, means an argument. You know an argument when two people are arguing and I'm right, no, I'm right, you're wrong, I'm right. Well, an argumentation essay is kind of like that, only you have one really big advantage, and that is you're not arguing with another person, you're just telling your side, your idea. So that should be easier, right? Well, not always easier. It can be quite challenging because you need to convince the reader that your idea is right, even though the reader cannot talk to you and ask you questions or bring up other points. So this means your essay needs to make a very clear statement and then support your statement, support your idea very thoroughly, very solidly in order to convince the reader that you're right, which is the goal of an argumentation essay. That is to convince the reader that you are right. Now, an argumentation essay has a very important part, which is the beginning paragraph, the introductory paragraph. Now, an argumentation, let's keep in mind, an essay of an argumentation will make some kind of assertion, maybe stating an opinion or a theory or a hypothesis. Now, some people would think that normally you should build up an idea. Begin with A and then part B and then part C. But no, that's not what you should do here. In an argumentation essay in English, it's very important at the very beginning, the very start, you state your opinion strongly. This is not a time to be shy. An English essay for argumentation will begin by telling the point, your idea, your theory, your assertion, what you think is right, very clearly from the start, hopefully even the first sentence of the first paragraph, certainly within the first paragraph. So the first paragraph is your main argument to make it very clear. Don't be shy. It's very hard for people to get used to writing this because they think that my argument should come at the end, not at the beginning. No, put it clearly at the beginning. This makes it easy for the reader to see what is your main point. Now, that's the first paragraph, of course, the introductory paragraph. So we can kind of say something about what's the problem, but what we really need to do is clearly state your opinion, your solution, your idea, your hypothesis, or your opinion. Then when we go into the paragraphs, the body, we can explain more. So we could tell about what are the different people who are affected by this? What's this topic's details? What's important inside this topic? What is the background of this topic? What will happen in the future or what's already happened in the past? What if nothing is done? What if something is done? What have other people done, for example? And then, of course, most important is I want to show how my idea, my argument, will solve the problem, overcome the problem, or change the problem to have some kind of solution. So the body is a series of paragraphs. Now those paragraphs may be short or they may be long. They may be just a couple sentences each. But each paragraph should be one point supporting your argument. So you begin with your main argument, your main point. Then one by one by one, you give more information to support your idea.